Another look at this beautiful fish. Just absolutely choked that pink slobber knocker. Put some lure lipstick crawfish jelly and that pink menace trailer on it. Pearl white menace trailer dipping pink spike at die. Oh yeah. All right, we are back at it. This is gonna be my intro. It is October 16th. It's raining, it was snowing earlier like you guys saw. We are back to my favorite local lake doing some bank fishing. I only have an hour to fish. So we are gonna keep it really simple. I have my pink slobber knocker and my chompers football jig and we're gonna see if we can't catch a few fish. Stay tuned. There's a fish right there. Dang it. There's one on the pink slobber knocker. Nice one too. That's a really nice fish. Heck yes. Oh yeah. We're in a shell right along this tree line. Nice fish. Even bank fish and big bass. Love pink. Look at that nice pretty fall fish. She's a thick one. Super chunky, nice healthy fish. Sorry it's tough, it's raining, but uh, absolutely choked. That slobber knocker. So we'll get some pictures and get her back in the water. All right, so it's kind of hard to see, but there's this tree laying down right here, and this shoreline steeps down or slopes down. And what it did is it made a long cast over where that tree's kind of hanging over. And as soon as that slobber knocker got up over that branch, the fish hit it. So I've been flipping a jig around. It did miss one back there. I've been flipping a jig around this stuff, but maybe they're in a chase mode. So I'm going to keep throwing the pink slobber knocker and see if we can't pick up a few more. I don't have very much longer to fish. I gotta be out of here by 6.30 and it is 6.05, so let's get it done. All right, last spot and it's a tight one, so wish me luck. And of course I backlash the crap out of my reel, so if one does hit it, I'm going to miss it. Hey everybody, just wrapping up the uh, edit on this video. And uh, man, I tell you, what a weird, weird fall. It's the middle of October. I think it's October, geez, I don't know, 17th or 18th or something like that. We're already getting snow. It's just been a crazy, crazy fall. The bite's been a little bit tough too. Um, you know, Dylan and I did get on some pike there earlier in October. I uh, didn't really get on any really big, really, any really good bass bites. And the last two times I've been to this local lake doing some bank fish, and I've only caught one fish each day, one fish each day. But, um, you know, it's it's still fun to go out there and, and try new things and try different areas. And, uh, yeah, I did miss one on the chompers jig, but then I did I'm catching one on that pink slobber knocker. And there was a lot of people that are actually camping in this particular area that I was fishing, so I was trying to be respectful and not, like, fish in front of their campgrounds even though you technically can i was trying to just play it safe so there was about half of that particular shoreline i couldn't fish because surprisingly there was still a lot of people camping so hope you guys enjoyed this um fall you might as well almost call it winter uh bank fishing excursion so i really do appreciate all your support if you guys get any questions um you know i didn't really have a chance to dial anything in they were in a that one was in a chase mode i did have the one on the jig so you just got to keep your option, uh, options open. I took two baits with me, two rods. So 
Uh, maybe that was my own fault, but I only had about an hour to fish, so I had a really short amount of time. Again, it was cold and windy and rainy and snowy, but it still worked getting out on the water. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Please leave a comment if you guys like this kind of content. Let me know if you're getting excited about ice fishing. I have quite a few ice fishing videos that I made last season that I didn't get a chance to release uh, the last season, so I'm going to release them this year. So let me know if you guys want to start watching ice fishing videos because I've got about a dozen of those videos ready to rock and roll. So, again, thank you so much for your support. And remember, the easiest way to change your attitude is by showing gratitude. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the water next time.